Dr. Barrow's at your service. What brings you to the chop shop? Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? Sure can. Quick and easy. Only a hundred caps. And a quick shot. All done. Don't think because I'm a ghoul I'm stupid. You're fine. Short sure end. Quick and easy. Only a hundred caps. If that's the way you want it, it's all the same to me. And a... I think I can help you out. You be careful now. It's locked for a reason. Don't get any ideas. Welcome to the chop shop. I'm Nurse Graves, Dr. Borrow's assistant. Don't let our place's name fool you. The doctor is very good with injuries, dismemberments, and trauma. If you require any stim packs or blood packs, let me know. Certainly we can help you. Please speak to Dr. Borrow's. Oh, and we only take caps, no barter. Yes, and how can we help you today? Poor girl. I didn't think she'd make it through the first night she was brought in here. Dr. Burrows has done everything in his power to keep her alive. Well, she's very important to Dr. Burrows, and she's my patient. I don't care if she's human or ghoul, she gets treated the same here. I don't share the philosophy that ghouls and humans are different. 
we were all the same once. So why should I treat Riley any worse than a ghoul who comes here looking for help? Anyway, I must get back to my duties. If you need anything else, please let me know. And how can we help you today? The doctor is convinced that the key to curing our appearance is locked within the human body. When Riley was brought in here, he saw a chance to put that theory to the test. First and foremost on Dr. Barrow's mind is her health and well-being, I can assure you of that. So far, none of his conclusions are finalized, but the tests he's running are coming up quite positive. Oh, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. Well, some of the ghouls in Underworld object to what the Doctor is doing. They think ghouls are ghouls and humans are humans. Like we were meant to be this way. Some have even threatened the Doctor. I'm afraid one day something might happen to him. Not impressed, hmm? Oh well, I didn't expect a human to understand the gravity of this experiment anyway. Just do me a favor and don't mention this to anyone. No telling what reaction this could have if it got out. So far, none of his conclusions are Oh, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. He's trying to come up with a cure, a way to stop the human to ghoul transition, perhaps even one day to reverse it. Well, we're trying not to get too excited, not only because we want to keep it quiet, but also because the experiments look so promising. For now, just please try and keep what I've told you quiet. No telling what reaction this could have if it got out. Bye. I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. Don't worry, though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's Rangers will show up soon and take her home. Oh, you must be new around here. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the DC ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. She was in a pretty bad way when they found her outside Underworld. She had multiple lacerations, contusions, broken leg, some internal bleeding and blunt force trauma. She hasn't been conscious since they brought her in a few days ago. I'd say she tangled with some super mutants and lost. It's a miracle she isn't dead. She was just brought in by a few others. They found her bleeding to death at the entrance to the city here. If she'd been out in the tunnels any longer, she'd have been someone's meal by now. Well, I wouldn't recommend it. She's in some sort of coma. It's dangerous to force someone out of one. There's no telling when she'll come out of it, I'm afraid. Unless you're an expert at medicine, I wouldn't recommend it. You may end up doing more harm than good. However, I'm all for helping my patients, so if you think you have the ability, be my guest. They're a mercenary group. I've seen them pass through Underworld a few times. I'm not sure what their mission entails, but I suspect that it involves violence. The Rangers have a small headquarters not far from here. Let me program the location into your Pip-Boy. It would be dangerous for me to prematurely awaken her. The sudden shock to her system could provoke any number of complications. I appreciate your sincerity, but I'm afraid it's just too risky. Yeah, see ya.